Hi, Nolo. Nolo's right over there supporting me. He, he's like my main man, my true love. That, see? Nolo gets me. Nolo always has my back. Hey everyone, it's you guys. So, don't be fooled by none of this. I am sick, okay? I have a cold and I have asthma on top of it, so it's really hard to breathe. I didn't want to lay down, but I should be in bed, but I didn't feel like it. it I think it would make things worse. I, I'm just a workaholic. I just love to keep going. I wanted to update you guys on my guitar routine. Things have definitely changed. And I do work a full-time job outside of this, which I'm hoping will come to an end very soon. Long story. Of course, I just love filming, I love playing guitar, I love making videos for you guys. And again, if you haven't followed me on Instagram and Facebook, please follow me there. Because I update a lot more on Instagram and Facebook. And of course, you know, YouTube, I do it weekly. Uh, like two, I don't know, like two, three times a week. Hopefully more soon. I wanted to let you guys know what I do every day to get better at guitar when you don't really have enough time. I know that some of you guys work full time full time jobs and you come home and you only have like five hours, you know, like maybe three to four or five hours of, you know, rest. So, um, first of all, I do, I wake up 5 a.m. every day. So Monday through Friday I work, I get up 5 a.m. And I go to work, and then I come home by usually by three o'clock, three thirty. And when I get home, what I do is I wash my face, brush my teeth. Um, I don't really eat dinner. I mean, I do, but sometimes I have coffee or I know, I know, I know. Don't come for me, but I sometimes I eat like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something, something to fuel me. Um, what I do is I, I got this advice from Wes, Wes Hawk, and from Jesse Michael, I think that's his name. I'm gonna uh, add them below there. You already know I obsess over Wes. Wes is like the man that I wanna be, except with lady parts. <laughs> uh, it, his, his, he to me is like my guitar hero. I love Wes, I tell him that all the time. He's probably annoyed. <laughs> But I met him a couple times at NAMM and I just admire him beyond belief. He's so good. You guys need to YouTube this uh, amazing man, Wes Hawk. Oh, I love him so much and I, I hopefully he'll be there at NAMM next year, 2020. I'll be at NAMM by the way, I'm going to NAMM. I'm working, I'm, hopefully I can perform. I really want to perform so I'll let you guys know what happens. Wes and Michael. Michael is I think AR for Kiesel, not too sure. He, I, He's a guitarist. He's so good as well. Um, he's on Twitch. So he's on Twitch. He plays guitar there all the time. Wonderful. What I learned from both of them is, you know, these these two men are fathers. You know, they are busy and they also do guitar. And I'm like, I went to them and said, hey, how do you, you're, you guys are so good. What do you do every day to get better? You must be practicing 18 hours a day. They're like, no, we do. <laughs> They're like, no, we don't. He said, um, both of them, what I learned from both of them was work on the things that you have, work on the things that you're not good at. And also learn new things every day. Learn learn licks from your favorite guitar players. Learn some, learn from a different genre. And also, by the way, when I was at the Suffocation show, which there is a video of me at the concert, by the way, down below, I was talking to Terrence Hobbs. If you don't know who Terrence Hobbs is, just leave. Just don't talk to him. So he told me it's so important to learn from different genres. That's what I've learned from so many great legendary guitar players, even conversating with them. It's so important to learn from other genres, and I believe that 100%. There are things I've written because of pop music. There are things I've written because of ballads. Love ballads. Ballads that my mom listens to. And I think you should always have an open mind. Don't be closed-minded when it comes to writing. Like, always be open. You'll learn more that way, you'll incorporate more styles that way, and you'll be, your creativity will be endless. Every day I try to, well, I also take lessons Sunday with Rusty Cooley, but I'm taking a break at the moment because um, I do have other commitments, and on top of that, 
um, Nolo, I love, and I think it's just it's just a lot for me right now. So, um, I'm doing set. I have homework with uh, Rusty, and by the way, if you want lessons with him, he has spots open, so I would contact him. I've learned a lot from Rusty. He's such an amazing teacher. I'm doing exercises, finger exercises, and learning the note notes all over the fretboard. It's been a a journey I've been having a ton of fun so every day I try to learn something new so what I did recently was I learned a solo from the Black Dolly murder what a horrible night to have cursed that song and I've been I've been listening to it over and over again when I go to work I mean I've, I've been listening to it over and over again. I said I could do this I could learn this solo so I've been working on it lately so that's why you haven't really seen much guitar videos on my Instagram because I'm trying to learn that solo and I've been learning it by ear and I'm not gonna lie that was a workout for my fingers I was kind of miss I was like trying to keep up with the song and trying to you know make everything sound right and nothing skipped that's one of my struggles I've been trying to incorporate learning more licks from guitar players and bands into my routine and it, I want it to be new and fresh so I'm just listening to a lot of players like Abiotic the set of the passage. I would love to learn something from Vitral, but gotta get on that level. Okay. What I like to do, uh, like I said, my routine is usually I do homework from Rusty, which I still have. I jam out on YouTube different modes and play along to it. And on top of that, incorporating new learning solos from my favorite and riffs from my favorite bands that I've been listening to for a long time and trying to figure it out and I'm tr I watch the I watch the guitarists play to get a you know get a sense of what they're doing and then from there learn by ear that's my updated uh, like guitar routine of course things may change it's always gonna change so I think what I took out from Currently what I learned from all this was always incorporate something new and work on the things that you have trouble with. And I've learned a lot more in an hour or less from doing the same thing over and over, which I've done as a young girl. But learning new things will make you a better player. I really hope this helped um, for some of you guys out there who, you know, just to get an idea of what I've been doing to help you with your journey and it's been a lot of fun it's been a struggle sometimes sometimes I'm like lost on you know what to learn and how can I be sometimes I beat myself I'm my own worst critic but if you keep at it doors will open and it really has for me and always if you I mean we live in such an interactive time like with the internet if you have someone like a guitar player that you look up to, you should talk to them and get advice from them. And if you're on Instagram, or I think that's the hot spot, Instagram's just like... So a lot of your favorite guitar players are there. So um, you should interact with them, get advice from them, because that's what I've done throughout, you know, as a little girl loving guitar, I would you know, message my favorite guitar players sometimes, or at NAMM, or go to shows and talk to them. If you ever need inspiration, they're there. Even, you know, your friends, if there's like, you know, if you have close friends that are musicians or, you know, get advice from them. I've, you know, I've learned a lot. I, I, I you know, guys that, you know me, I've been doing this for so long. I've, I've definitely learned a lot and I've been you know making an album like Reclaim I never thought I could do that I was like I remember I was like how do you even make an album like I I had no clue but being educated and learning from your favorite guitar players and learning other genres and practicing and being dedicated to the instrument you know even if it has to be 5 10 15 minutes playing guitar at least you're, you're picking up the guitar and you're learning and I'm 
just I'm personally proud of my growth. I still want to get better, by the way. Um, doing these routines and incorporating new things just made just made things better for me and more interesting. And yeah, there's so much inspiration around you that you could use to help you with what you're doing. And I'm oh. Hi Nolo. Nolo's touching my leg. Guys, there's endless amount of resources out there. And oh. <laughs> Nolo, you wanna come here? Nolo wants to make a cameo. Nolo can't he he always needs to he wants to Alright, Nolo, what do you wanna tell the people? What do you wanna tell the people? There you go. <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. He's so sweet. Nolo's always, every video, Nolo has to make a cameo because he's my manager. No, nothing is a, um, nothing is finalized until Nolo has a say. He's my manager, so. He's older than me, so. Mm, you're such a sweetheart. So I really hope this helped, and again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is just something I wanted to let you guys know like yeah things have changed in my guitar routine and dealing with my job and everything uh, things changed but I've learned a Nolo you're rude <laughs> I've learned a lot currently and found the best routine for me so yeah things are great again I'll be at NAMM next year I'm so excited Shout out to the Ornsey family for being kind to me. Strange Joy, Iron Age. It's been, it's been beautiful, you guys. Um, and stay tuned because I got some uh, something special coming soon for you guys. So, right, Nolo? Right. Right. <laughs> right. All right, guys. I gotta go. And I hope this video helped all you players out there, guitar players, piano players, just everyone in general regardless of the instrument and I'm here and we will definitely make a new video very soon and don't forget to subscribe follow me on Instagram and Facebook the two names are at colorize09 and I'll see you in the next video say bye bye Nolo bye bye Nolo over here bye 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 bye